energy is uh, controlling most of our conversations. And it was the main focus in my one on one with Mayor John Whitmire. Fitting lead taking place in a Spring Branch apartment complex with no power. So do you feel good about the bounce back or do you think we could do better? I feel very good about it. I don't know. I don't know of an area that we're lacking in other than neglect from years of neglect. What's been neglected, according to Whitmire, is some of the city's infrastructure. It gets back to resilience. Resilience needs multiple solutions at multiple levels, and that's where I think things are evolving. But technology is perhaps you know, a step or two behind. Dr. Ramanan Krishnamurti, who specializes in energy and innovation, says putting power lines underground might solve one problem, but could create another. We start to put a lot more of these wires underground, and the next thing we know, we get something like a Hurricane Harvey, like flood event, right? And in which case, and not only do we get flooded, but we also take out all of our electrical power. Krishnamurti says the big picture is more complex and has to do with upgrading our electrical substations. He says we aren't in the best position going into hurricane season, but at least those storms give us time to prepare. By making sure you know, our trees aren't getting too close to those overhead power lines, those are the kinds of things that we, I think we can sort of uh, collectively address much better. Let me give a shout out to collaboration. Whitmire says the city has come together and resources have been deployed from all over the state, but unfortunately, we're still facing a budget shortfall. The finances are a challenge. Uh, we're going to get through this season. If somebody can point to something uh, we can do better, I'm always open to suggestions. In Spring Branch, I'm Alex Bozarjian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.